What's your take on vegetarianism? Some of our favorite cows are that. <laughs> And then there's that misguided lion. <laughs> We've not been able to convince him otherwise. Well, and I... so it's sort of like that in an effort to offer analogies and such people could even argue about the analogy of the vortex of creation that we are describing here and turn it into a place and call it a planet before you know it, there'll be a planet called vortex and they'll be telling people that Abraham said, you're all going there. <laughs> get happy simplistic we know that's why we write so many books <laughs> but then all of those books you say oh there's so much to learn look at all of these pages there's so much to learn all of these emotions that I didn't even know that I had and all of these laws all of these laws look at all of these laws universal laws what in the hell is vibration anyway I don't understand ask and it is given that's bullshit I've been, I've been asking where's my stuff where's my stuff I've been asking where's my stuff so we give you all of the words and you say way too many words and we say get happy and you say oh too simplistic <laughs> um, I have two questions one's really weird and ridiculous but the other one um, is really important so if I ask the important one first we prefer the weird one really <laughs> okay it's kind of embarrassing it, everyone's gonna be like why is she asking that but anyway is it about talking to dead people no <laughs> oh then then it's not that weird okay <laughs> so, um, for the past several years, well, maybe like four, uh, one day I noticed someone spitting. And I really tried hard not to say, oh, I can't stand that because I don't want it to keep happening. Well, anyway, I swear to you, almost every day of my life, I will just sort of like, oh, I'll look over right at the right time and someone has spit. Why didn't I look two seconds before? Why didn't I look two seconds after? What in the heck? Why do I keep seeing that? I can't believe it. Because it's active in your vibration. But I try really hard not to let it But be. you see, when you try hard not to think about spitting, you're thinking about spitting. <laughs> so you might want to choose something else that might get your attention. Okay, well that leads me to my next question. So because... choose something less disgusting and work yourself up to rainbows. In this conversation, you were amplifying something that made you feel uncomfortable yes not anymore it's actually a, a happy ending story <laughs> it was just the beginning <laughs> so you tortured us unnecessarily <laughs> you do that to each other too have you ever had a thought about someone that was negative in nature that did not result in their immediate uh, beheading <laughs> my husband's ex-wife <laughs> she survived she's still there <laughs> so if you would accept that you've been sifting through the sands of men for quite a very long time yes. and that you have created a magnificent relationship of which Fred is a part but not all inclusive in other words yes. there's stuff that Fred has that's really active and dominant in Fred that is nowhere a vibrational match to what's going on in your vibrational escrow so meanwhile the universe knows full well what you want and knows where all of it is and is calling you toward it and giving you evidence that you are focusing well but all of a sudden you want to jump in with both feet and with all of your action and go ring Fred's doorbell and the universe is saying Wrong doorbell, wrong doorbell, wrong doorbell, okay, but wrong this doorbell. Is, this is the idea on that. I want to go, well, if Fred's not right for me, shouldn't I get to have some experience with Fred and then go, okay, no, thank you, Fred. Why does the universe get to say, Fred's not yours? Pertaining to my five-year-old son. He will not listen to me. Good. Um, to any... <laughs> no women. Men, a little better. Teacher told me if she goes can you get him to listen to me I say he won't listen to me what are you talking about and who is he listening to 
I guess his own head, because he told me, he said, um, you know, I live my life my way and you do things sort of your way. He said, this is way. He said, he I'm, must be listening to us. Yes. If you want it and don't have it, we still party. We talk about how it was a close call on that one. And how you almost, you almost had it. We talk about how you were walking down the street, he was walking down the street, you were in a bad mood and you turned the wrong way. We talk about that. We talk about the veritable fortune that you've amassed and how you deprive yourself of it. And we don't laugh at you, but we think it's funny. I've created something so wonderful, but that wonderful partner wouldn't want me. That's mm -hmm. what your vibration is saying. Now talk that down or talk yourself into a place where at least your boat can turn. I'm not the ugliest person in the world. <laughs> Right? You're the worst person in the world. No. <laughs> Actually, that was pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty good. And is that even, and people say like the, the way that I express what I want, they're like, oh, oh, that'll, you'll never find him. Well, they don't know what they're talking about because he's in vibrational escrow. We've seen him. <laughs> Can you give I him my number? <laughs> You are ready. I'm ready. So you've seen him. <laughs> yes, and he's not the ugliest person in the world. He got his master's. I bought him a trip to Hawaii for some relatively spiritual seminar. And I thought, okay, I'll just give it to him and see what happens. He might not even go there. He might just skip the whole thing. But I'm like, oh, I'll give it to him anyway. So he went there. And the seminars were from 7 a.m. to like 6 p.m. So he wouldn't even see any Hawaii. He would be just in the seminar all day long. And he went. And he met this wonderful girl, a Peruvian lady. She's a little older. And they just fell in love. She's from New York. So he's coming home. He's saying... She's moving in with me. So she moves in. They're so in love. They're having sex like crazy. <laughs> and that was the, I think that's what made the job came just right away. Now they're living in the house and he just bought his new car and everything is just went into the place in a like two weeks period. And I'm thinking, how can it be? He, two years he couldn't find anything. And now all of a sudden everything and because alignment trumps everything. Yeah, and he, yeah.